it's Trish and this is Fold of the Week, a show where I share powerful print marketing ideas to help you achieve success on any budget. This week we're having some fun with the corner folder. I've got four different ways to change it up and I think you'll be surprised at how flexible this format can be. So let's take a closer look. This first example is a classic corner folder, wafer sealed to keep it closed. I just cut the seals so that we could focus on the panels. This is just a square sheet with all four corners folded in to meet exactly at the center. These are also great carriers, in this case a calendar keepsake insert was placed inside. Now I'm going to show you the exact same format, but with one critical modification, a final fold in half. The resulting rectangular shape means it can self-mail and can avoid the non-machinable surcharge that square mail incurs. This is the Home Depot. They likely sent out a ton of these. For the previous sample, a fold on the calendar keepsake to save on postage kind of kills the experience. Building on the previous example, let's see what happens when you use the same technique but with one triangular flap folded to the outside of the brochure. For this design, I like how they use numbers on the panels and then the numbers coordinate on the illustration on the center panel. Lastly, let's go back to a square format, but using a right angle fold and only two corners folded in. The layout becomes really interesting, and as you can see, you're still starting with a square sheet like the other three samples. This was a fun exercise in format modification, wasn't it? Each one of these solutions started as a square sheet and the same folded in corners, but as you can see, there are so many ways to work with the corner fold format to achieve different user experiences and proportions, whether it's done for mailing purposes, aesthetics, or both. Great stuff. A very special thanks to the creators of the samples featured in this episode for sharing their solutions with us. If you've ever been inspired by something you've seen on the show, please consider folding it forward and sharing your work too. If you're looking for more ideas, downloads, and templates, visit foldfactory.com. And remember, think finishing at the beginning. I'll see you next week. Bye.